All right, let's talk about one of the most important things when it comes to your overall health and your gut health. It's called microbiome diversity. Your microbiome is basically the, the amount of bacteria that you have inside your gut. Because we all know about probiotics and prebiotics at this point. Like you want good probiotics. You want good bacteria in your stomach, right? You want good bacteria in your intestines. You already know that. But what you may not know is you want a diverse amount of bacteria. You don't want just one kind and a lot of it. You want a little bit of a lot of different kinds. The research is absolutely amazing. They have been researching microbiome and the diversity and the effects on weight for a while now. And what they found, believe it or not, they did a fecal transfer. So they took the fecal matter from skinny rats and put it into fat rats. And then they did it from the fat rats into the skinny rats and they swapped it. So basically they put the, the bacteria from one into the other. Turns out that the skinny rats got fat and the fat rats got skinny based on microbiome diversity alone. It's that important. We also know now it's highly anti-inflammatory. It's highly, uh, st it can help to eliminate cancers. It can help to eliminate growth of cancers. It's super important for your brain health and longevity in your cells. Microbiome diversity is awesome. The best way to get it is through the veggie mashup. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna go to the store. You're gonna get 30 different vegetables. Yes, 30. And you're gonna try to find vegetables that you've never heard of, that you've never tried. You're gonna look at the store and go, I had no idea what this is. What the heck is jicama? What is that? I don't know, I'm gonna get it. So you're gonna get a bunch of vegetables. Now I say go easy on strong tasting vegetables like beets and onions because they can kind of ruin the taste a little bit. But get some of those, just not a lot. You're gonna get 30 different vegetables. You're going to go home, you're gonna wash them, and you're gonna chop them all up. You're gonna put them into a food processor, chop them really fine. Then you're gonna combine all of that into a big bowl and you're just gonna start mixing it up. After you've got a really good mix that's mixed really well, you're gonna get freezer gallon bags and you're gonna put thin layers. You're gonna fill it into a freezer gallon bag into a thin layer and put it on its side. And you're gonna put, stack those layers into the freezer and you're gonna freeze them. Now, in order to eat it, to consume it, all you need to do is go to the freezer, open up a bag, break off a chunk, throw it in your smoothie. That's it. Don't overthink this. Some days you'll get a big chunk. Some days you'll get a small chunk. I'm not telling you get a cup, cup and a half. This is the beauty of the veggie mash. And you 30 vegetables in a freezer, mine lasted almost three months. And I had stacks of this thing because I went crazy with the weird vegetables. So you break off a chunk, throw it in the smoothie, blend it up, you won't taste it, but you're gonna get the results. You're gonna get the, the effects of an increased microbiome. So do the veggie mashup, you won't regret it.